Welcome back. It's Wine Wednesday, and as the saying goes, go big or go home. Mm -hmm. It's a motto I think we live by here on AM Extra. Well, <laughs> that's the message of local winery that uh, has, well, I'm a little biased. It's a great local winery out uh -huh. in the Dundee Hills that, um, well, has a good message for us this morning when it comes to their wine bottles. Yeah, go, go big or go home yes. might just be their motto. Magnums are a lot larger than your typical wine bottles that you see on store shelves. They're perfect for gatherings, but you know, their bigger size isn't the only difference or the only reason you might want to consider getting one. So joining us live to tell us all about Magnum and what the Dundee Hills has to offer is Brian Weil, winemaker with Alexana Winery. Good morning, Brian. Good to see you. Morning, Emily and Travis. Thanks again for having me. It's great to see you again. Great to have you back. This is a fun segment to get into. I feel like I, I only ever see Magnum bottles, you know, at, at restaurants or, or at a winery. So let's talk a little bit about just how, how big are they? How are they different from a regular wine bottle? Yeah, so a Magnum's going to be double the size of a standard 750 milliliter bottle. So you're looking at 1.5 liters. A uh, typical wine bottle is going to be about four to five glasses of wine, depending on the crew you're hanging out with. Um, so double that. You could have upwards of about eight to 10 glasses of wine, which is great for a dinner party. Um, you know, you have four people, you run out of a bottle, you move on to the next. At least with this guy right here, you're able to kind of continue drinking the same wine, watching that wine evolve over the, the dinner party for a little bit. Yeah. And then maybe you'll open another one after that. You never know. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, not to mention, it just kind of looks cool, right? It does. It does. It's, it's a party. statement bottle. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, is there ever a difference in the quality of wine when you have Magnum bottles? Do you have to worry about that? Yeah, it actually is a, it's a great thing for aging. Um, oh. Just the way it works, if there's more liquid in that bottle with the same, basically the same cork, you get a little bit of a different um, kind of age uh, worthy wine because of that magnum. So we've done something really fun here at Alexana in the Dundee Hills. And we've actually started with our new hospi hospitality expansion that we just opened up last year. We started pulling magnums from about a decade ago. I've been here for 10 years and it's been fun to watch some of the wines that I made 10 years ago that I personally with my team hand bottled um, get opened up side by side to some of the 750 milliliter bottles. So you definitely see a quality difference in the sense that they will age a little bit longer than a, a small format bottle. Um, they just really um, create more complexity over time and, and hang on to, uh, you know, a lot longer than maybe a, a standard bottle might. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, that is interesting. I, I actually didn't think it would have made that that big of a difference. Yeah. But that shows you why I, I drink the wine and I don't make the wine. I, <laughs> it, right there is case in point. Well, and I guess, too, that the winemakers are probably going to be selecting the wine that they want to age. Some of that nicer quality fruit, uh, you know, for Magnum bottles, because you're not you're not putting them out like the like the regular 750 milliliter bottles. Yeah, I mean, like I said, these are all hand bottled. We hand bottled them. We hand corked them. We actually upgrade to a, a wax top right here um, that takes a lot of labor and then um, hand label or even at times for the ones you can see behind me here the three five and nine liter bottles will have them etched by a local artist by hand so a lot of hand labor goes into it and on top of that we definitely are selecting some of our more reserved wines um, it's small parcels within this 55 acre estate that we have um, it's a little fogged in this morning, so I'm not showing you the vineyard, but a um, beautiful rainy, rainy morning out here in the Dundee Hills. But we have a lot of little parcels that we're able to select from and put in these special bottles. And we may bo bottle two or 300 cases of standard bottles. We may only bottle 30 or 40 magnums of this wine from that specific uh, bottling. Wow, wow. Very, very interesting to see how that process shakes out. Well, how do you snag these? Is the only way to go up to the winery or can you go other places? So typically it's only going to be direct to the winery, uh, okay. direct from the winery or through the website <clears throat> or for you, Travis and Emily, you can come talk to me and we'll figure it out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> A little Dundee exactly. love there. Yeah. I, I appreciate you, man. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I know you're probably a little biased to the area, you know, being in the Dundee Hills, but what about that growing region in particular? Are there things that you look for in, in Magnums? Is, is there anything with the Dundee Hills wine that, that just fits really well with these larger format bottles? Absolutely. You know, definitely Dundee Hills is, uh, to me, one of the more opulent and really just easy drinking, lively Pinot Noirs in the valley because of the soils here, the volcanic soils. And those volcanic soils really bode well for long-term aging. They tend to have really good acidity. Um, we get a good coastal influence from the winds here that keeps that acidity up. We also have some great structure and tannins 
just from the, the warmth that we get from being up on the hillside. And the alcohols tend to still be moderate because of those cool nights from the wind that comes from the coast. So lower alcohols, really good pHs, uh, and good structure tend to really mean that wine's gonna age fairly well. Um, so we've had some great vintages over the last 10 years, and it's fun to watch these wines age out. And some of the wines we're drinking from 2012, which I think you have a bottle on your table there, uh, my original, my first vintage, um, they're just, they're still shining and they're going to last a lot longer. That's so, so cool. Yeah. I, I don't need to get on the soapbox of how great the Dundee Hills are and it's, it's a great place to go. So mm -hmm. if you're able to get up there, snag a Magnum bottle, that's a, that's a party right there. Brian, uh, Brian Wild with Alexander. Thank you so much for joining us once again and, uh, sharing your knowledge here about, about the Magnum bottle. Really didn't know how much it changed the wine. I found I that know, very fascinating. I learned something new today. Absolutely. It's my pleasure, and it was great to see you guys. I hope you have a good rest of your day. I uh, appreciate too. it. You Cheers. too. All right, if you're interested in getting a Magnum bottle for your next gathering from Alexandra, you can go to alexandrawinery.com and check out their selection. Pretty yeah. cool.